This presentation will talk about the properties of matter and it will distinguish between two types of properties the extensive and the intensive properties. Let's start with the extensive properties. They are the properties that depend on the amount or the quantity of matter in a sample. Let's take an example if we have a ruler with a certain height and what we are going to do now is cut a certain piece from this ruler this action will dimension the height of this ruler so here what we did is we removed a matter this removing of matter will decrease the height so the height is an extensive property since it depends on the amount of matter. Another example, suppose that we have a balloon with a certain volume and what we are going to do now is to inflate this balloon by pushing more air and gases inside it so the volume of this balloon will expand. This means that adding extra matter will increase the volume of this balloon so the volume is an extensive properties extensive property since it depends the, on the quantity of the matter other extensive properties include the mass and the weight now let's move to intensive properties which are Unlike the extensive properties, they depend on the type of the matter and not on the amount or the quantity of the matter, such uh, like the intensive extensive properties. For example, if we have two beakers of water, one beaker number one is filled with a more quantity of water than beaker number two and both beakers will be subjected to heat the temperature is watched by two separate thermometers and when the temperature reaches 100 degrees celsius which is the boiling point of water water will start boiling in beaker number one and beaker number two regardless of the quantity that's found in both beakers this means that the boiling point is not affected by the different quantities of water in both beakers. This means that the boiling point is an intensive property. Another example of intensive property is the color. And as you can see here, we have a green liquid that did not change its color even though we placed it in different containers with different shapes and volume. So here the color was not affected by the amount of matter. So color is also an intensive property. Other intensive properties include the hardness and the density.